All right, everything I know is a lie, everyone I think is alive is dead, and everyone I think is dead is alive. Welcome back to Until Dawn, and <laughs> we're going to try and get Emily out of a mine. Okay, so this is probably where that totem of her lighting on fire is going to start taking effect. Since punch and face punch and face to Ashley did in fact finally happen, despite the fact that I found that totem a long time ago. So I'm going to try my best to not light you on fire, okay, Emily? All right. So... I'm still pretty confused and messed up about how the last episode somewhat ended, so I guess Josh wasn't cut in half with a giant buzzsaw. Is that a clue? Anything? Huh. Maybe that's my way out. Who did I cut in half? That was definitely... Josh was definitely... He was the guy who took off the mask, right? Is what is happening? Okay, so all those clues I found about an arsonist were fake, cause like we, those were fake newspapers that Ashley found in the basement of the ski lodge. That you know, oh my god, that makes so much more sense now. Hold on, that's why the killer knows so well, like the layout of everything and all the shortcuts and where everything is. It's because it's Josh and his parents own the place. He knows where everything is. It makes, it's, it's, oh my god, it's all lining up. That card is going to move at me. That's what happened to Mike when he was, is this the same mine shaft? Am I going to find Jess and she's going to turn out to still be alive too? Even though I'm pretty sure she's dead because she fell down an elevator shaft? Uh, no looking back. Go mine card. Neat. Huh, I wonder if there was something back there. Wow, you really are in pain from that leg, but your face doesn't show it. Neat. Okay, 100%, we are going to find Jess's dead body down here. Or at least her herself, and she's going to be in her underwear because she was not clothed when she fell down that elevator shaft. I know this is very uncomfortable for you to walk, but I need to see if there was anything behind those mine carts, so sorry about this, Emily. With each step, her dislocated leg gets more pain. Yeah. It. Wow, okay. This is. Please just go straight. <laughs> like, oh my god, that was weird. Okay. Let's see. What was. What would have been just like straight back here if I kept going? Aha! Something! It's always good to double check. Anything I can use as a weapon? Minor photo. Ooh. The blasting crew preparing to dynamite the new... Um, shafts. Uh, man, these things are hard to read. Northwest Mines, December 1951. Okay. So how did those relate? Okay, so this means that it's most likely that Jo- No! Hold on. There's m definitely more than one killer. But Josh is one of them? And he's taking it out on his friends, but they're just coin- Did Was my original theory right? Are there two killers, neither of them know about the other? <laughs> and one of them turned out to be Josh, most likely trying to get revenge against his friends, because I'm, they're kind of the cause of what happened to his sisters. And then the other one was the one who tried to, like, who held his hand out to Hannah and Beth to try to, like, at least it gave the illusion that he was trying to help them or something, but, like, I know he wasn't. I chose to let go instead of grab his hand, but, like, he's the one who killed Jess, and that one isn't Josh, because there have to be at least two of them for them to be able to do all this off. So... Are there really two killers and neither of them know about the other? Okay, before I take the elevator. That really looks like the elevator that Jess fell down. So let's look around this area for a second. Like, and she was unconscious in it. And one of the killers owns- Whoa! whoa. What was that? You are going to light on fire, Emily. I really want to avoid it, but I don't know how to stop you from lighting on fire. Huh. I can clock in. 
All employees clock in, so on and so forth, yeah. Okay, um... I think I can't stop you from lighting on fire. A door? Okay, let's check the elevator first. Jeez. I really want to not let... Now that I know you survived that fall, I would... I don't like that arrow is pointing out elevator. It seems too obvious, so you know what? We're not gonna try the elevator. <laughs> that, that I, I'm not comfortable with how it points it out. Well, elevator it is. <laughs> <sighs> Alright then. Man, I have so many questions. Let's see. Elevator? Elevator? Shit. Huh. Now what? How do I get this thing on? I don't know. I don't really know how mine shafts work. <sighs> Alright, so clearly it needs power. How do I get it to have that? How? Oh, hey, a ladder! Well, um... Even if... Even if a killer comes after you at this point... Wait a minute, so if the killer was Josh, then that means Josh really packs one hell of a punch, because he was able to, uh, like, just punch once and knock out people, like... That's not exactly easy to pull off. Like, he must really pack one hell of a punch. <laughs> Bye, Emily! Quick time events. Better pay attention. That must have hurt your leg a lot. Oh, are you gonna find your good friend Matt? Ooh, so come on, swipe the phone. Oh! How did I not expect something like that? Yeah, wait till you see Matt. Wow, you really deserve this, don't you? Nah. nah, no one should have to be put through this. Uh. Hello? You're gonna find Matt down here, right? Is this gonna lead to that boy? He's gone. Oh, boosh! Man, are all these characters super strong, or is everything really that oh old and rotted? Because, oh my god. Ugh. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, well, well. What have we here? Oh. Huh. Nice photo you got here. Hmm. Dearest Billy. Something home perfectly. Your. How are you reading this? If you cover it up with your own hand. Interesting. Ooh. Weird. Really weird. Can I not touch it? I don't quite actually know what it is. No, no, this has to be something. Okay. I don't actually know what I was looking at there. Um. Broken ladder? Okay. Huh. Huh. Now what? Oh, jeez. Uh, we won't do this the hard way for once. Her leg is, like, broken. Uh, okay, reach up. Whew! Wait, was that the risk move? I really can't tell which is the harder thing to do most of the time. Oh, God! <laughs> Jeez. Who are these kids, like, outside of this? Because they really do have some amazing skills for, like, what I assumed were normal, nothing special teenagers. 
Okay. Hmm. You are going to light on fire. I don't foresee any way I can prevent that for you. Sorry to say it, Emily, but, um... Most likely, in the next episode, you're gonna light on fire. Hope you guys join me there. Love you. Mean it. Click.